Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you all are doing well, man. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of the best hunting locations in and around McFarland's Ranch. But before I get into that, man, do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button. Continue to support the channel. Support your boy. Now that all that's out of the way, let's get right into this video. All right, one of the best spots, you know, starting out right now is right here. Actually, right where my camp is. Show you on the map. Right where this marker is, all in here. It's going to be good because right under this tree right there, let me point to it. Duck spawn all up under this, under this uh, tree. You can hear them right now, kind of. They're all under this tree. I flew by and they flew away. I mean, I rolled by and they flew away. I flew by. <laughs> I rolled by and they flew away, but they all sp sp uh, are in here. So if you're trying to hunt and you need animal fat, you'll be able to get them right there at that tree. Right in here, um, deer and doe spawn. You get a nice pack of like four or five of them that are normally grazing in this area. And then also in the skies, you can see there are birds that fly by, a number of birds, there are large birds, there are rose, ravens, crows, all fly by. There's another one. At night, you'll get a bunch of owl right here. It's It's crazy. But this is just definitely a nice spot and it's secluded. Not many people are coming through this area to hunt. So this is a good spot to be able to get an abundance of different type of animals. Uh, see right there, there they go. There go the, uh, what are those? Got to get a little closer. Ah, there the doe. <laughs> right, so there, like I said, they're the, exactly where I, I said they're going to spawn a pack of four um, doe. They're right there. So all of them pack right there. So, like I said, this is a good spot. I'm going to take you to the next one. Okay, you come right down this hill right here. This is the, like the next spot. Let me show you on the map. It's really like right in here. Now you'll get the, you know, the deer, the doe. If you're doing a trader mission and the mission is like to find a tortoise, is the tortoise normally spawns right down here on the road. So you'll be able to just run and get it. You don't have to worry about trying to find it. It's literally like right down here on this road. Also down in here, let me get a little closer. You got this pond right here. To where you'll catch duck in this area, you'll be able to hunt those. You'll also be able to catch, see there go the duck right there, boom. What's that up there? Boom. Oh, speaking of the devil, there, there is a tortoise right there. <laughs> like I said, it spawns in this area, it's right there. So when you're looking for it, there it is. Also in this area is wild turkey. So when you're looking for these small guys, they're right in here as well. Oh, and a panther. Oh, snap, and a panther. That's why he was freaking out. So also a panther spawns in this area. I'm finna shoot this boy before he see me. Bang. Did he go down? Got him. So also a panther spawns in here and also the, um, what is that? Um, it's a deer that spawns in here. And then there are also pig that spawn in here. So it's a lot of different animals, especially the pigs. When you, and they, the pigs have the animal fat. So when you look for the animal fat, you got the ducks and the pigs in this area. But you got to be careful because there is a panther in this area. So be mindful. But like I said, this is a great spot and you get a wide variety of different animals. But you got to be careful of that panther because it's here. And I showed you exactly where he spawns. So just be careful. I'm going to put the little marker on the map so you can show you again. It's right. Spawns right in here. This is where that panther spawns. Right in here. So be careful when you're kind of in this area. All right. I'm going to take, take you to the next spot. All right. Right in here. Right where this marker is. Right in this area. You'll know because you'll see Harriet. You'll be going up there to Harriet. Um, this, is a, this is a good spot as well. Day and night. 
So during the day, you see you have a number of doe that'll be in here. You have a number of, of white-tailed deer. You have a number of buck in here that you'll be able to hunt. And then you just go a little further. Still in this area. But it's just a li little bit further down. You know you're in the right area because you'll see this little um, broken Madame Nazar cabin. Uh, once you pass right here at night, the wolves spawn right here. So if you're trying to hunt and get a three-star wolf, come here at night. Right in this area, they'll be right in here. They spawn every single time without fail. They'll be in this area. So you can hunt them at night, no problem. It's about four or five of them. And one or two of them are three-star. All right, and right in here, man. All right, and right in here is going to be the last spot, man. You'll get a number of, of, of deer, doe. There's a couple of foxes that spawn in here. Um, and the foxes are normally three-star. So if you're looking for those type of animals, they're in here as well. But like I said, you're going to run into a number of medium-sized animals. Three-star buck right there. They're going to all be in here. There are also some smaller game, like I said, like their fox, and there are a couple of turkeys in here you'll be able to find as well. But this is the spot, man. And look at say, this whole time I've been hunting, we haven't run into anyone. Like in these spots I've been going to, we have not run into another person at all. So like I said, these are some nice secluded spots that you'll be able to hunt and be able to hunt freely and get all of those animals, not worrying about somebody taking your three-star animal away from you and you're out trying to get to them before they do like it's been peaceful this entire time i've been hunting so that's it man that's for, it for this one man hopefully this video was helpful in some way shape or form man if it was man do me a huge favor hit that subscribe button because i make guidance videos all the time and by hitting the subscribe button it'll ensure you don't miss the next video and it helps the channel out tremendously but like i said guys that's it i hope this was helpful get out there get to hunting look at that what is that an owl <laughs> i'm happy hunting and i'll catch you guys on the flip side Hey Outlaws, if you enjoyed that video, then check out this next video as some more Red Dead Online content.